blossom gels and some is um cool crystal placement so if you missed the video yesterday i have a uh, really cool two nails i'm putting it over there if you want to get it uh you can definitely watching them from our igtv this is the is super adorable is uh 3d handcrafted flowers the rose and every single subscription box you are going to get one of this similar to this this might be different colors might different shape it's gonna be cool and stunning so i'm gonna show you how to do that as well and then this is the nails that we did yesterday using the liquid and powders the newest collection and i did some majestics and also pumpkins ombre with is is uh, maple leaves and then the newest the autumn's loves glitter i have it right here so i'm gonna show you so let's get right into the nails i have two nails i'm using uh is number 25 is pure white and also using it's really cool um the number 43 is pudding super cute it's kind of a really nice like fall yellows color and i'm gonna use those for is a blossom gel as well so we're gonna do in a fusion inks first and then we are going to do a some blossom gel so i'm gonna do this too so they can see the two difference it's one in a white and then one in the puddings colors and both of them i did is apply each two coat each coat i keep for 60 seconds and then i did apply the matte top coat on the matte no white top coat and keep for 60 seconds so that's why you're seeing the matte and it's ready for our fusioning so i am going to use these two colors and it's neon comings and fusioning delight make sure you're getting a piece of paper too so then that way you can dab a lot of the um excess fusioning so delight first hey everyone thanks so much for tuning in Hey, it's Nelly. How are you? Hi, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch. Thank you so much. And for all the YouTube fam as well, thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm going to tap, just like tap the delight. You can do it however you want okay you can tap it anywhere it doesn't have to be in just that spot oh i just dropped it and i'll go ahead and using a fusioning neon calming i love to get two of them a uh, combination together hey uh phen phenomenal snails hello how are you Thank you so much for tuning in. How are you? It's so good to see you at uh, ABS. Chicago, thanks so much for stopping by and visiting us. And I'm going to go ahead and using the neon calming. The neon is really pigmented, so you just probably need just a little bit. I'm excited to see these two colors is combined together. And then you can tap it everywhere or however you want. It doesn't have to be exactly um, in certain pans. So now we're gonna do is using a crystal clear. What is mixed uh, glitz fusioning is so easy to flow and easy to design. It is because with the, my nails, <laughs> because of the uh, no wipe top coat, matte top coat and then the crystal clear so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of a crystal clear fusion ink and i am going to just tap 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 and then wherever you want your wherever you want yours um veins to be you're going to tap it right in the middle and you are going to blend it out. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, do you have a question? No. Just a lot of people coming in. Oh, hey. Hey, thanks so much, everyone. Oh, my God. I'm loving this look. 
It's great two colors together. It's like all um, uh, this kind of marblings. And I want this one to be like off a little bit. Oh my God, it's so cool. You will never go wrong with this. All you need is just a little of a crystal clear. Tap it on. And then you can add more. If you want to add more colors, I mean, add more of the pigment of a fusioning. So we have calming, and then we have is the delight. Look like some of those chairs near water painting. Like the side of the mountain with tree and with waterfall coming in. Good to imagine it. Yeah, it looked like it. Cool. cool. All right. It's really cool though. And I am going to do really want to add some of really cool at like <laughs> for Halloween theme. Oh my gosh. That would be so stunning. Look at that. Cool. I like the background. So it's really make it different. And I really want a flower. Yeah, well sure. Sure. Like sure. you say the color for crystal. Yeah. I want this one. But I really want look at that. And I really want the foy, uh the chanfer foy too. Mm -hmm. So you can do the flower on that one? And then chanfer foy on the other one. On the next one. Yes. Ah. I want everything I'm telling you. Okay. So now, if you don't want anything, you can top coat it here and you're good to go. But I am going to add in some is, um, is veining on it. And by using the gel painting Golden Touch, it's really, really like it looks um, shimmery, platinum, looks finished cool. And just a little touch, it will make also is really a different. And you can just like really soft touch. It doesn't have to be in the straight line. Where am I? And if you are having yours um, pre-season gel painting, pre-season brush, you can definitely use that as well. All right, I'm going to flash here for 30 seconds, okay? Hold on. I said it, but then I want this one too. Okay. Flash here for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to do this one for fall for you. And look at what I have. That one is the um, Blooming's Rose, I believe. Is it called Blooming's Rose? I think so. And I have a golden like leaves. I also want to use my two of them. As you know, so we're using one. And of course, my is uh, pumpkin spice. You know what? No, let me get one of this one. I'll be right back. So now let's, what is she's done right here? This is from the fusioning. So she used the Burning Heart Neon Fusioning and the Tinking Green Fusioning. I think she got like a dab of blue in there too. 
So the blue one, where was that? Yes. So it's Neon Humming Fusion. Eh? So you can get a set that you can get single right on blissaccessionsets.com. I'm loving this uh, Glow in the Dark Crystal Kits. I love, I mean, Crystal Pack. I love it beside the pumpkin's um, spice. I'm really, really upset if this one is perfect. So a lot of you will probably get this in like your treasure box. No, it's a some treasure box. All right, so can you open this one? Cause you see the pumpkin spice all the time. I love to share with you with this. Um, so the now let's, that's the gel painting color. It's say it's golden touch. It's a little dark on the screen, but yeah. So when you get the jar at the inside, it's gonna look amazing. This looks golden touch. It just like it looked dark under the camera when the label, but then this is everything. And Bonnie. So yes, you're gonna do fishing over top coat, and remember, it needs to be matte top coat, so the ink will suck. If you do over shiny top coat, it will just slide out. Can you get this one up? All right, so you do that, and I'm gonna get that going. All right, so I'm go ahead and using these condensed glue gels. We're gonna add the beautiful crystal placements on this along with the uh, super adorable rose and a 3D handcrafted and then I have a little crystals on the sides. I'm really, really loving this is flowers. It's perfect for fall. And here is a condensed glue gels. If you are having, it's really a hard time or troubleshooting with your uh, crystal placement, this will be definitely gonna be your bestie on your desk because it will adheres all the crystal charms and chains and it keeps it last up until you are going to remove the crystal away so up nice ones is good coat not too thin not too thick you don't want to be it too you don't want to be too thin because it's not going to adhere your crystal properly if you don't want it to be too thick because it's going to flood at your crystal so you want to give it enough and then the purple one too sorry i'm loving this this pack is everything um don't forget to do your no wipe top coat right on the top. This way is going to be finished after you're done. And also it will going to grab the base of your crystals and it keep your crystal in one place. This whole pack is a lot. It's like five times of the crystal jars. Sorry. There you go. All right. I'm going to add one leaf. I'm so in love with this. It's the um, glow in the rocks. It's like, I think it's like a... Uh, the orange face oh nice watch a smaller one i love the purple this one everything the pack is had so much in there so many it's like a thousand pieces so I'm using like an orange base and purple base and get some beads on it. I will add the uh, rose in a little bit. Oh my gosh, just now it's so adorable. How's everyone doing? Happy Tuesday. I'm so excited. 
as usual i'm always busy and i will not forget to being in with everyone unless i'm like really i'm like packed packed busy that i couldn't even breathe then you don't see me here but i'm telling you i was really excited to see everyone and thank you so much for give me an opportunity to share with you for past three and a half years we are moving forward to the fourth years and we wouldn't be here without every single of you and throughout three and a half years we got an honor to see so many of you know people audience customers our students to be really really successful and then it's like a massive growing in their business which is awesome such a big like rewards for glitz sos in myself so i'm gonna keep adding it as i talking i know it's just like just um a lot of uh memory come back because this is our fourth years doing it's really cool tutorial for you in fall and halloween season and you know that every year is with different looks and if we're looking back at some of our videos a lot of video for a different season it was hold on this looks really good oh, you don't think you need the flower no i want a flowers oh, you don't that. huh should i do this flower then sure no i want this flower I want that flowers. That's what I leave it there for. Yeah, so flash it quick. Mm. Oh my God, it's so adorable. And it's, oh, I forgot to show you in the base. The base is so cool though, because the base is hats, curls, and a seekers. So then when you go in here, let me show you this. It's okay. Oh, it's like. This day uh, in wrap around the nails, it's fit perfectly. He's afraid of his rose is going to be gone. Hold on, let me. At couple crystal right here. I'm gonna do the base of the crystal here because I want to keep in the base nice, and then it stay nice and tuck right in with the crystal base. I mean, hold on, what I'm saying, flower base. I'm always doing that to keep the company with the flowers. And then if you're happy with this, we wanna flash it really quick first before we put it in the, um, You know what? It's the fusioning the background is really make it different because it's give it some um, a good finish look. I just saw my frame in here and then I couldn't see it at all. Alright, no frame. This one right there. The best thing about condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat is I'm starting like adjusting it before I cure to make sure that I'm happy with what I place it on. And then you are going to cure under LED lights for 60 seconds. Before that, I'm going to flash here really quick to make sure everything in place. Move it on the side just a little bit. Okay, now here. So 
So now you're gonna do is like a 60 second here. That's really cool though. All right, so excited to that nails and then we are moving on to the next nails. This ones we are going one doing for fall and one for Halloween. Okay. So now we're gonna move into the next one. And again, fusionings again. And I have, you know what? I really like one fusionings and one fusionings and one blossom gel. I really want to show you how you get using all the colors together with the newest collection. And let's do this fusionings with the neon boring heart. I did two coat of the pudding. And then I did two coat each coat here for 60 seconds. And I did add matte top coat on and here for 60 seconds. And here you go. It's neon burning heart. Hey, Dom. How are you? How are you and baby doing? Okay. You can add more as you wish. Or you can just do one or two... Um, layer going to thinking green so interesting to see this one oh nice look at that it's like really cool though turning it perfect brown So you see that, how I just keep the piece of paper here to make sure you remove all of the residues from your fusioning so it would not contaminate into the bottle. Okay. Let it dry. Looks really interesting. Is it? Wow. Now we are going to using is crystal clear. Oh, that's awesome, Dom. <gasps> it's so sleepy. Yes. Take care of the babies. It can take a lot of energy. So make sure you get a lot of rest, Dom. All right. So I'm going to using a crystal clear. And just tap from the outside toward to the inside to the middle. So wherever you want your veining is gonna be and make sure wipe off the residue so then that way it will not coming in back into the bottle all right I'm going to do a little bit more veining. Hey, is how everyone doing? I have to check in just, just in case someone's going to be like really sleepy during the time I'm doing a live videos. So you can see that I constantly wipe off my uh, bristles so then that way it's not going to get back into my crystal clears. So then that way it will not uh, create a lot of like a bleeding effects. It's going to be more defined for you. Should be really, really simple and easy. With the list fusioning it does, it's all for you. So if you want a veining to be like really like really precise, you can definitely slowly work um, around with the veinings. really pigmented oh my god that's so cool though 
Tom say it looked like an old school paper. You think? With all the nice and pretty. So she said she, she, you should write a look like her. That's cool. So I'm, you see that how I wipe off that. So then that way we're not carrying it back into my uh, fusion ink. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of um, uh, golden touch. You can do black on this one and then golden touch is going to even make it look so much uh, more dramatic. I'm going to use a twin tip brush. If you are um, having the single brush as well with the tips, I think it's number one, two, or three. This work as well. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit of a golden touch. And then it's really softening and drawing along with the beans. All right. Oh, I like that. More vein, add it on. Oh my God, I want to do a lot with this nails on. I have a glitter, I want to add it on. Okay, here for 30 seconds. This is the first nails. It's like a fall looks. I love this, the little, is a little bit of a hints of uh, glow in the docks. So I will both, I use the um, the purple base and then the orange base. Oh my gosh, this pack, it has so much. If you used to get the crystal jars, glitter crystal jars, and now look at the whole pack. It's so many. It's over uh, it's 1,400 pieces of your crystals from size SS4, SS6, SS8, SS10, and SS12. So you have so much in your package. I don't know how long that took you, maybe 10 years. All right, the first look. Second look with a vein. This is definitely looks so gorgeous in fall look. You can leave it alone. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want to. All right, so voting, should we do something? Well, if you vote too slow, then I might add it on because I didn't hear. This is already full and Halloween. That's one. That was a pumpkin sky. Do you know what looks so cool though? It is like ombre. So, okay. I did use this. Which one did I use? Hold on. The two. I did the, which one did I use? I did the green and burning heart. Did I? Mm -hmm. Yep, green and burning heart. So this two is came out this color. Yep, so you, when you mix green and red, you got a little more brownish color. Some left, some tinty green left stuff. So. You can do scores. It come in the uh, Halloween mix. Ah. Any pumpkin. If you don't have pumpkins, just get the bees and then the school's gonna get the bees though. School, I need a pumpkin though. Can you get a pumpkin? I thought Lily will give me that. Can you go check with Lily? I think I need a pumpkin. <gasps> All right, so it doesn't matter whatever you do, the, the, um, Skeletons. <gasps> nay, nay. <laughs> Yay. Oh my gosh. 
I love this pumpkin. All the green from the mix. Obis. Neon. Should we do neon? It's so freaking awesome. All right, sorry. I just have so many ideas. Oh my God, it's poking this. <laughs> it's look good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so this is in like $5 nail arts or when you're getting your subscription box, you get a lot of pieces of it. I'm so excited for you. I mean, like, and got caught by skeleton. <laughs> she got trapped. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and using condensed glue gels. Well, if you don't want anything else on, absolutely top coat or matte top coat, and then you are good to go. Kia for 60 seconds. But if you decide to get something on, uh, designs on it, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to do just a spot right there. And don't forget to add the no wet top coat. I am going to add the pumpkins. No, hold on. Not pumpkins. Um, uh, where's the picker? Close that on. It's heavy. All right, she's gonna do it that way. Okay. Are you gonna do the hair? Yeah. And do she from the bottom up? No. Yeah. So like his his own hand sticking out from the bottom. No. Someone gonna poke his eyes. Should we do on the on the bottom or on the top? I say bottom. Does she always do the top? No. She's gonna poke her eyes. You can yeah. poke your eyes from the bottom too. Puka Beauty, hello, how are you? His eyes. <laughs> no, his eyes is funner. Okay, so I'm going to add it a little bit on. And then, you know, the bad things later, so we are going to do the, um, I'm going to add top coat on a precision glue gel. So then precision glue gels will definitely is hold this mm -hmm. in one place. Got one go for bottom, one go for top. I should do one on the bottom and one on the top. So it's kind of heavy. So I'm not using my dual and tweezer. So you can adjusting it to the right way he is poking on the eyes. Okay, it doesn't it stay, it's really heavy. All right, that's why you put it at the bottom so they support it. Mm -mm. It's like he's will not let go with his eyes. <laughs> it's like, wait, coming back. It looks really cool though. Yeah, you're gonna need to flash here, otherwise, it's gonna pop. Yeah, that's it. Okay, flash gear. And then we're gonna do on the next one. That has um all to the face with. No, it's poking his really eyes. Good. That's so stunning. Really, really cool. <laughs> and chains or no chains? Well, you know what? Another hand at the bottom too. Hmm? So two hand, two hand there, one hand wrap the face on the top. One hand from the bottom. Like took the one with this. Wow. I think that might be too dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I think is this is the change is um from a collections and then I'm gonna do that one. Or you can do that one. All right, I'm gonna do that one. Okay, I'm going back with the condensed blue gels, and I couldn't find my, the, um, my, what is that? The, um, gold chains. I really like the gold chains, too. Some nails. I'm going to get my nails, different design soon. 
All right, so I'm going to apply this all inside the nails now because we're going to add some uh, crystals on. Not too much, not too little. And it is. I'm go ahead and using the key to get this one to so just keep getting on this um, stuff on this one. Just drop them. Just move it on the side. Okay, good. So no wet top coat. Floating right on the top. And I'm gonna coat all of this charms right here. And later we want it using the pre-season glue gels as well. All right. My chains. Oh, you know what? So you have a chain? You should make a necklace out of this from. Huh? Big chain necklace. It's like a fancy one. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should make an earring for him. And then you can using the other end of your crystal pickers and adjusting it. Just guide it, the chain to wherever you want. So sunny, right? I'm gonna do this one, but can you get me the bigger size of that? The hmm? purple? Yes. I love these two colors together. The uh, orange base. And the purple. How's everyone doing? And also, I have obsidian and I left on the others, um, on the crystal room. And I like supposed to bring it here. And when I'm here, I just feel like that. I left it there. Get some beads on. I do like the purple though. Mm -hmm. And the best thing to do is to get the crystal placement into add your uh, favorite centerpiece first. And then you can add all the smallest crystals as, as around with, um, along with your centerpiece. And uh, trust me and promise, you will never go wrong with this. And it's always come out right for you. I'm just fascinating right now with the really cool 
design that is coming in. All right, happy with this? We're well, going to here. I'm going to get one of pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice, I like it a lot too. Like, let's add one on that right there. All right, cool. Here for 60 seconds. All right. My God, it's so stunning though. It's all right. So I'm gonna move on to the one I'm waiting for the second one to dry. I am going to using the precision glue gel to double secure all the crystals, charm, and chains. And I am going to use on the other end first. This is come in with the a brush and so then the precision brush ends will help me is coating a larger area, which is this beautiful golden leaf. I love this leaf so much. It's so adorable and it's perfect for fall. And I'm going to seal the metal too and then close that. You're gonna using the other end with the precisions um ends with the needle, so you're able to go to all the edges gap of the crystals. So then that way it will prevent it from catching on the hair clothes or anything else. So then you are going to write doing a little exam check, check, check. If you feel like it's scratchy, you're gonna squeeze just a little bit. Little go a long way, just little, not much. And make sure you don't cover on your conceals on the top of the beads and the frames and the metal piece, but not on the top of the crystal because you do not want to do your crystals and to cover all the sparkle and the shies. Okay. So I am going to clear this for 60 seconds. And you can always go back and do it again. If you feel like it's still scratching, like it's still catching on the on the um on the hair or the clothes, you will definitely flash here 10 seconds and then key it uh and apply more precision glue gels. So I am go ahead and using on the other end the brush end. My nails couldn't pick up the nails. So I'm go ahead and use the precision end and go around with the chain to make sure it's all the chains and the beads has got like completely sealed. So then, cause we wash our hands a lot, a lot of hand sanitizing. So we wanna make sure that is gonna seal and the same with that skeleton hand. And make sure that it's gonna be sealed as well in the, the uh, crowds right there. And then we're gonna use it on the other end. And check in between the crystal. And then the frame and metal pieces. And then we are going to go ahead and key for 60 seconds. I know. Subi, honey. Yes, so this is the first now. It's finished. I love the look. So one for fall, one for Halloween. I hope you're really enjoying it. Today's all of a special. It's special with this one. Get it just getting in my eyes with so beautiful of the orange face is glow in the dark. I love it. You have to see it in person to, to see the difference. It doesn't look, it's really cool. It's like, uh, it's kind of a translucent iridescent and it turned it from the orange a little bit slightly to the opal though. It's hard to show it under the camera, but it looks so gorgeous when you see in person. So it's like slightly going from the orange to a little bit pink. So, is different from the um from the 
I'm putting my here. Is the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, like, so sparkle, like, really, really, like, orange sparkles. And this one is going to glow in the darks, and it have the kind of a rainbows look. So I like, I did both of this. You see the both of this is one. If you want a really dramatic, you can see the colors, then you get your pumpkin spice. If you want to get a little bit hint of orange, purple, that's the orange base of glow in the darks. And you have a whole pack, just so much in there. And also, I just got this one. You just give me like a couple of them, huh? You just give me like a couple of uh, Greek right here. But then this is a purple. I love this two together. But look at how it cool turning out. Purples. Hold on, let me see if I can get. It looks cool though. It looks really cool in person. It's hard to see it on the camera. It looks like the same color, but it's not. It's really cool. That's what I let you know. So then that way you can see the cool and the different from that glow in the dots. And then what's the two nails that I did it yesterday? Can I see the two nails? Um, no. But you want to see the bonus nails because before we uh, say bye-bye, really cool though. I'd love to show you the bonus nails and using a blossom gels. And this blossom gel is totally different. I'm going to do the blossom gels and then you can see the effects of it. And it's spreading so easy. <coughs> and it's created as an instant art for you. Okay. This is the four nails first. Here, already. We're doing another one. No. Huh? Yes. Bonus, the flavor. <laughs> I'm loving them. All right. So we said tomorrow now is so surprised with the. I can't wait because tomorrow we're gonna do this content, this two together, and then we're gonna using a blossom gels to create this instant design, and I'm so excited. I know, just it's so weird because my brain is processed so like exciting because I just love it and it's just so cool though. Ah, thank you so much, Dom. So like, I really don't care much for the Halloween because I scare really like I don't watch movie though. I don't want scary movies; it's just freak me out and I can't sleep. But I love to do beautiful like nails for Halloween. <laughs> So it's just really cool though. It's fun and then it's crystal. So who doesn't like it? It's just really cool with crystals. And then it's it's like more for Halloween, but it's not scary at all. It's so beautiful. I love it. I agree with you, Dom. So beautiful. And then you can see a lot of designs that with our team. And in we are going to be in Orlando Premier. Orlando is coming up in October 17 and 18. We can't wait to see you come on over in our booth at 6851 to pick up some free gifts and then to get connected and then get some free demos on your nails and bring all the questions. You have a thousand questions like, you know, Q and a, bring it to us. We'd love to see you. And it's going to be fun in Orlando. And we just finished your shows in, in uh, Chicago. It's just such a great and really successful shows. And we so excited to see all beautiful faces. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. And we feel like we are like been seeing everyone forever. It's just so nice to be connected. And um, I can't wait. I don't like to be scared. Me too, Nene. I agree. <laughs> oh, Samantha, send me. <laughs> what do I have? It's really funny. We're going to create some nails for you. It's going to be four nails. Do you want to wear Halloween and fall or just fall? Maybe Halloween and fall. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be two weeks before Halloween, so you got to get nice Halloween nails. So I like to do fun, beautiful nails, but not watching scary movie. It's going to scare the heck out of me. Janessa, hello. How are you? Oh, my mommy. Mommy, how are you? 
All right. So, oh my gosh, I could sit here do it all day. Tutorial for you. I'm loving it. And I have, as I say earlier, this is ours like three and a half years already. No, fourth uh, fall season. And you can see that I have a thousand of swatches. That I've been doing it throughout three and a half years. And it's so great to see it's from a different season that we're doing it. And we're sharing with you. And um, before we buy, want to show you the newest collections. Don't forget to check it out. It's the bomb collection. It both job palettes. Only six color, but it's everything you need for fall and Halloween. So this is the... Colors, pumpkin, a fall in love, puddings, hunter green. I love this hunter green and then magetics. And we have a sparkly rose. Uh, hold on. The sparkly rose gold and fall in love, hunter green. What else do I miss? Pumpkin. Yes. Six colors and easy to ombre as well. Uh, that's a lot of them. Oh, I get it in my light box. I'm going to move it slowly so that you can see it. Thank you so much, everyone. Bot. Ah, okay. Semi. Bot's going to be Halloween and fall. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, can't wait to see you and Robin's away in Semi. We had a great time, great show. All right, so here's that. Let's um, recap this. Why I did this two colors, delight and calming. You give it this looks for fall, and then burning heart and thinking green is give it a looks of really awesome fall. That is so easy to use with fusioning. <gasps> I know. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. If you have any question regarding to the products and you couldn't find the link to get into Crystal Glow in the Docs or Fusion Ink or Jet Polish, your new collections, don't hesitate to DM us. Our team will be really happy to assist you. And um, if you have questions regarding to the shipping, you're free to email us at info at glissassistance.com. And we'll be really happy to also assist you as well. I'm loving it. I didn't realize that this rose have the pearls in there. So it's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So I'm so excited to see you in the next live video. In the meantime, please stay safe. Be safe. Take good care of yourself. And I will see you in the next live. And all the products, you can simply find it. Glitz Assistant and such. And link right in the bio to find exactly the same products that I'm using. Hope you have a great night and be safe. I will see you then. Bye.